Ever wondered why a simple play of light on water could be considered a masterpiece? As we journey back to the Paris of the 1860s, a radical art movement is about to take birth. Today, we delve into the revolutionary history of Impressionism. Paris, the 1860s, a city in the throes of modernization and the birthplace of a radical art movement. Amidst this whirlwind of change, the art world remained stoically unyielding, guided by the rigid standards of the Académie des Beaux-Arts. The Salon, Paris's prestigious annual art exhibition, was the ultimate arbiter of taste, and it favored well-established styles and traditions. But a group of artists found themselves increasingly at odds with the Salon's narrow perspective. Artists like Claude Monet, Pierre-Auguste Renoir, and Edgar Degas were pushing boundaries, experimenting with unconventional techniques and subject matter that often led to their work being rejected. Their frustration grew, and so too did their determination. They realized that if the Salon wouldn't showcase their work, they would do it themselves. They dared to hold their own exhibition, free from the constraints of tradition. Thus, in defiance, the Impressionist movement was born. In 1874, a revolutionary art exhibition took place. A group of rebellious artists, including Monet, Renoir, and Degas, frustrated with the rigid standards of the Salon, took a daring leap. They held their own independent exhibition, showcasing work that was strikingly different from the traditional styles of the time. One such piece was Monet's Impression Sunrise, a painting that captured a fleeting moment of a sunrise over Le Havre. The title of this painting inadvertently gave the movement its name, Impressionism. But what made Impressionism so revolutionary? It was their techniques, quick brushstrokes, an emphasis on light, and a focus on capturing everyday life. The artists sought to convey the sensation of a moment, rather than a detailed, realistic representation. These techniques were controversial, seen as unfinished and crude by the standards of the time. Yet, they represented a bold departure from the norms, a true coup in the art world. But every revolution meets resistance. And so it was with Impressionism. When the first brushstrokes of this radical movement touched the canvas, the public and art critics recoiled in shock. The break from traditional art was too abrupt, too audacious. Critics of the time were ruthless in their reviews. One famously declared, wallpaper in its embryonic state is more finished than that seascape, referring to Claude Monet's Impression Sunrise. Another critic scoffed, try to explain to Monsieur Renoir that a woman's torso is not a mass of decomposing flesh with the green and purplish blotches that denote the state of complete putrefaction in a corpse. The disdain for what they saw as unfinished and crude art was palpable. Yet, amidst the outrage, there was a growing number of voices appreciating the freshness, the immediacy, the vibrancy of Impressionist paintings. The art world was divided, but Impressionism was here to stay. Impressionism, a beacon of change that illuminated the path for future art movements. This radical art movement, born out of frustration and rebellion, would inspire generations of artists and forever alter the landscape of the art world. Subsequent movements like post-impressionism and modernism were direct descendants of impressionism, taking cues from their predecessors' daring departure from tradition. Artists such as Vincent van Gogh and Paul Cezanne, for instance, built upon the impressionists' focus on light and color to explore new artistic frontiers. Across the globe, from Japan's ukiyo-e prints to America's Ashcan school, the ripples of impressionism's influence are clearly evident. But the impact of Impressionism extends beyond the realm of artists and critics. This movement, with its emphasis on capturing fleeting moments in everyday scenes, democratized art. It told us that art did not have to be grandiose historical narratives or idealized portraits. It could be a simple landscape, a bowl of fruit, or a bustling cafe. This idea transformed art from an exclusive domain of the elite to a universal human experience. Today, Impressionist works continue to captivate us. They grace the walls of the world's most prestigious museums, from the Museum of Modern Art in New York to the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. They are admired by millions of art enthusiasts, their vibrant colors and evocative scenes resonating with a wide audience. Impressionism not only changed the art world but also taught us to see the world in a new light, inviting us to find beauty in the everyday. So the next time you witness a sunrise, take a moment to appreciate its fleeting beauty and remember the Impressionists who taught us to truly see it.